Space experts are embarking on a journey that may take longer than we can imagine, but a mission to Proxima Centauri may be worth every second. Our new $10 billion wonder, the James Webb Space Telescope, is leading this exploration, and if all goes according to plan, the journey to Proxima will take about 20 years. However, it will take a few more years before we can confirm if there really is life on this distant planet. The age-old question remains, are we really alone in this universe? The James Webb Space Telescope has discovered inhuman phenomena far from Earth, bringing us closer to finding answers to life beyond our planet. Our curiosity about our place and loneliness in the universe was constant and drove us to constantly seek companionship, no matter how alien. We're getting closer to the answers we really care about. But are these really the answers we're looking for, or could they be significantly scarier? Join us as we explore the latest discoveries in galactic and planetary dimensions to discover something we may not be ready to perceive. Lights have been found far from Earth in perhaps the most amazing revelation of all time. Imagine that in 2021, when the James Webb Space Telescope was scheduled to launch, an exciting speculative study was born, could our future telescopes detect artificial light from another planet? Consider Proxima b, the nearest exoplanet to Earth, Located in the habitable zone of our nearest neighbor, the small star Proxima Centauri, about 4.25 light-years away. Because the exoplanet is much closer to its star than Earth is to the Sun, Proxima b is thought to be tidally locked and have a constant day and night, just like our moon. A hypothetical advanced civilization on Proxima b could transfer heat and electricity from day to night using solar cells that generate energy from starlight. The paper, in which Manus Lingam was one of the researchers, showed that future telescopes could detect significant solar panel coverage during the day. The improved James Webb Space Telescope will allow us to extend the search for artificial light to habitable exoplanets like Proxima b. In 2024, it is possible that the James Webb Space Telescope will do just that. Taking advantage of its greater sensitivity and wider range of capabilities, JWST could find the lights we seek that could lead us to another great wave of human evolution. We dive into the universe of planets and exoplanets to understand how this was even possible. The primary mission of the James Webb Space Telescope is to study the privileged objects of Proxima Centauri. Throughout history, people have pondered the nature of the universe. What are we? Where are we from? Where are we going? These are common but very challenging questions that man tried to answer when he came to his senses. Now, in an age of dramatic technological progress, one wonders if we are any closer to answering these questions. If you asked a philosopher, they would probably say that we are still at zero in our understanding of the universe. If you were to ask a space expert the same, they would be happy to share the latest discoveries that humans have made about the universe with their ingenious tools. These tools have not caught the attention of the general public, but they directly show the evolution of humanity. Now the world is at our fingertips and it's time to expand our reach into the universe. The particular innovation responsible for the recent discovery of what could be light on another planet light years away is the James Webb Space Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope is a creation of human space exploration campaigns that answers several long standing questions Are we alone? Who is there? Where do we begin? And where do we end? This infrared astronomical instrument has already begun to answer these questions somewhat. First, you may ask, What is Proxima b? Proxima Centauri b, or simply Proxima b, is sometimes called Alpha Centauri b. It is a super-Earth orbiting M-type star. Super-Earths are a class of planets that are more massive than Earth, but lighter than ice giants like Neptune and Uranus. They are quite large, composed of gas, rock, or a mixture of these, and can vary from twice the size of the Earth to several times the mass. They really live up to the name super-Earth. As for Proxima b, it is a super-Earth and an exoplanet, meaning a planet that orbits outside our solar system. The first possible signs of an exoplanet were discovered in 1917, although it attracted little interest and recognition at the time. However, in 1992 the first confirmed sighting took place, which stunned scientists. Another exoplanet, first observed in 1988, was confirmed in 2003.AS of April 1, 2024, there are 5,653 confirmed exoplanets in 4,161 planetary systems, of which 896 have more than one planet. These great discoveries orbiting an M-type star are now remarkable. To explain an M-type star, 
you need to understand a red dwarf. A red dwarf is the smallest star type in the main sequence, hence the name. In regions close to the sun, red dwarfs are the most common type of star that is consistently found. They have extremely low luminosity because luminosity is one of our most important tools for finding planets and other contaminants. Red dwarfs are not easy to spot. These elusive stars have different definitions and names depending on their temperature and size. For example, M-dwarf or M-type main sequence stars produce a maximum temperature of 3,900 K, hence their name and properties. Returning to Proxima b, it is known to have a mass equal to 1.07 Earths. Interestingly, it only takes 11.2 days to complete one orbit of the star, compared to our 365.25 days. According to this estimate, you can estimate the size of the star orbiting Proxima b. The total luminosity of the star is only about 0.16% that of the Sun. Even in the visible light region, its luminosity appears even dimmer because it appears fainter, illuminating only 0.056% of the Sun's luminosity in the visible light region, emitting significantly less light energy than the Sun. More than 85% of its radiant energy is infrared radiation. The discovery of Proxima b, located approximately 0.048, 56 Australian dollars from its star was reported back in 2016. You may wonder why Proxima b, among thousands of stars, planets, and galaxies, has received such attention. There are a number of reasons that contribute to astronomers' special fascination with Proxima b. Most importantly, Proxima b is the closest known star to our Sun and by definition to us. While 4.2 light years is a significant distance to us Earthlings, it is a mere blip in the grand scheme of the universe. So Proxima b, our nearest known star, is high on the priority list. It is also currently part of a triple star system called Alpha Centauri. Furthermore, despite the low brightness of Proxima b, the system itself appears to be one of the brightest star clusters in the night sky, just behind Sirius and Canopus. However, the most interesting aspect of Proxima Centauri b is its potential habitability as it is in the habitable zone. The possibilities surrounding a star are endless, prompting astronomers to explore the depths and limits of its potential. This is where the James Webb Space Telescope comes into play. As JWST continues to explore exoplanets, we are getting closer to fulfilling their missions, from ETI, search for extraterrestrial intelligence, to searching for aliens on exoplanets. What exactly is SETI? Given that humans have always been a curious species, exploring and penetrating everything moving and non-moving, it makes sense that a mission like SETI would arise on such a large scale. Imagine God organized a great expedition, but with a twist. Instead of panning for gold, our job is to listen for signals, specifically electromagnetic whispers from civilizations beyond our imagination. SETI stands for Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, and is our collective quest to detect signs of intelligent life lurking among the stars. Our curiosity goes back to the middle of the 20th century, shortly after radio technology became available to humans. Visionaries like Nikola Tesla and Guglielmo Marconi came up with a new idea, to use these new instruments to make real contact with the stars. Tesla even dreamed of talking to Martians through a wireless communication system. Flash forward to the 60s and we are in the midst of Project Ozma, the brainchild of intrepid astronomer Frank Drake. Armed with a powerful radio telescope and a heavy dose of curiosity, Drake scanned the cosmic radio waves for signs of life. Unfortunately, his efforts yielded nothing, but the brave hunt continued. Scientists around the world tuned their antennas to the cosmic symphony. At the same time, our friends behind the Iron Curtain in the Soviet Union were equally enthralled by the cosmic story. Led by the famous Iosif Shklovsky, Soviet scientists turned their antennae skyward in search of those elusive stellar transmissions. Then, in a fortunate turn of events, or perhaps fate, a mysterious signal broke through the cosmic noise, causing confusion and adding excitement. Dubbed the WOW signal, it sent shockwaves through the scientific community. Over the years, the search for cosmic companions has only accelerated. From the Big Ear Radio Observatory to the ambitious Cyclops Project and SETI at home, people around the world have started putting their computing skills to work for the cause. 
Searching was no picnic, though. It's a bit like hunting for a needle in a galactic haystack. Although we have yet to find a definite hello in the stars, our determination and curiosity never wavered. SETI reminds us of our sense of adventure and endless curiosity. We keep listening, hoping that someday we'll get that faint signal that tells us we're not alone in this vast universe. So keep searching and stay curious because the universe is full of surprises waiting to be discovered.